Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new channel, a brand new game on the channel called The Ghost of Hackney Mills. My name is Atomic Dog. Let's begin. New game. It's funny. When I was a kid, I loved watching horror movies with my big brothers. Cool. Before walking into the cinema, we'd horror act all tough fun. and rip each other on who would piss their pants first. Fair enough. Sure enough, the movie would scare the bejesus out of us, and we'd end up staying up all night, unable to sleep. Sure, After a couple of weeks, we'd forget about what the last movie did to us, and sure enough, we'd be lining up at the box office for the next one. Ooh. After a while, you get used to these movies, and eventually, you find out that they're all pretty much the same. You grow up and you realize that all this paranormal stuff is just mumbo jumbo, and that people that claim that they've seen stuff must have something wrong with their heads. I really believe that. Until the night that I went to Hackney Mills. Back Did you then, see a ghost? I was a maintenance engineer working for the White Cross Electrical Company, the biggest power supplier in Southern Ohio. Cool. HQ had notified us about abnormal power surges occurring in the transformer stations at a university that had recently closed down. What I mm. saw that night, better said, what I heard, not the type of thing that leaves your mind. What did you hear Ever. there? Whoa. Oh. I can use this. Whoa. Damn it. I really shouldn't have put our service in my car. Great. My cell phone smashed the bitch. Hopefully my radio is still working. My cross. This is Collins. Do you copy? Over. Todd, why are you using the radio? Over. Uh, I crashed into a, a tree. I crashed into a car. Both my phone and my car didn't survive. Over. Todd, I already told you not to use the radio for jokes. Over. I'm not kidding. I actually crashed into a tree. Over. Oh my god, are you okay? Over. I'm not gonna say the over over again. Yeah, I'm alright. God, what happened? Did you fall asleep at the wheel? No, I had a coffee before I left. Some animal dashed in front of me, like a deer or something. I swerved to avoid it and slammed the car against the tree. Todd, you're not supposed to swerve like that. If you see an animal, you slow down, but you keep your direction. If you swerve or hit the brakes, you endanger other motorists aside from yourself. That's true, actually. I know, Chief. It was stupid. It was stupid. Are you okay? Any cuts or bruises? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. Hmm, I mean, that's a pretty bad car wreck. I'll call for an ambulance. You can never be too safe. Do you know where you are? I was still about a mile away from the university's southern entrance when I crashed. I do see an entrance up ahead. I believe it leads to a footpath that should bring me to the university. Don't worry about sending an ambulance. I'm fine. Well, you still need a ride home. Just what you're here, so I'll drive over and pick you up. And wait here for an hour? No thanks. Look, I'm seriously fine. I'll go there and check out that. I'll check out the three transformer stations. After I'm done, I'll exit through the north entrance. Can you pick me up there instead? Only if you're up for it. Busy gate. Over and out. I was saving that bottle of Pinot Noir for a special occasion. I should have left it in the car. Oh, it says wine. Okay. Ford Sierra 1993. Good car. You're serving well. Wait, this car is 14 years old? I think, that if I remember correctly, this was done by um, the guys that did uh, Silver Creek Falls. I think that's right. I have a f Dude, I have a feeling you're not exactly alive anymore. I'm just saying, because I mean, that's a pretty bad car wreck. Hello, welcome to the Ghost of Hackney Mills. Oh yeah, uh, blah 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 blah. Mouse functionality, yeah, we're using this, it's fine. Mystery adventure game requires a keen production of perception to solve the mystery. Alright. Uh, I have one of those, do I? For those we can use headphones as some crucial audio recordings. Oh, this game is challenging, it will not take you by the hand. What? Oh, crikey. Pinot Noir and the, the car were like 14 years old. That's a bit different to, I think, Silver Creek Falls. I think Silver Creek Falls, they, they give you like kind of notes and bits and pieces. I think. I don't like. Nah. Just gotta save the game. I've got a health bar as well. Ooh. 
that is different to Silver Creek Falls. I think I played that. I played that game yonks ago. I think it's. I think it's complete now. All three chapters have been done. Hello. Oh, I keep walking into the rocks. Oh, this is pretty far for a, a, a campus. But yeah, it's it's basically they're, they're basically just two D two D games. It's really cool. I loved the Silver Creek Falls one, and I saw that this was done. Yeah, it was. It was done by the same guys that did it. Uh, and I was like, yeah, gotta have that. So here we go. Yeah, so there's a lot of walking. Boop. That was kind of Resident Evilly there. Getting spoopy up in here. Ooh, we like it. Oh, we're just walking through the woods. Alright, oh, okay. White Cross, this is Collins. Not exactly sure why, but it seems like the lights are all on the campus. Might explain part of this power surge, though it doesn't really account for the entire 390 MW megawatts. Oh. Ronnie, did you copy? I copy, though you're coming in really choppy. Did you hear what I said earlier about the lights? Yes, I did. That can't be right, though. They had their service disconnected last year after they closed. Well, I don't want to tell you. All the lights are on. I'm sure once you get to the transform stations, we'll get to the bottom of this. I hope so. Try and conserve as much of your battery as possible. Don't know when was the last time we charged these radios. 10-4, Kimasabi. Oh, we're out. Kimasabi, where does that come from? I'm fairly certain I should know where that comes from, but I don't. Also, this would terrify the life of me if I was walking down... Oops. If I was walking down the middle of nowhere... And there was no one around. Even if it is, you know, I, well, I don't know what time it is. Was that like a t t noise? Oh no, it started. I'm already hearing things. Jeez. Oh, there's holes in the floor. Okay, I can walk over the holes in the floor. That's fine. Tiny camcorders and microphones. What about this one? No, don't again. Last, whoa, last service by Karen MS. I wonder what MS means. Master of Science? Duh, keep click. Please remember to keep this warehouse clean and organized. Houseman Engineering Management. Uh, office chair. A rug. That's scared the life out of me. What are these crystals floating around? Touch crystal. Yes. And this is where your office will be. Oh. It's not in the same building as the lab? You'll be allocated a small office there as well, but we all have our main offices here. Uh, why can't we just have them in the lab building? Can't have the students being able to come in and out of the lab building. Oh, I see. Yes. So your office here is where students come to see you during your office hours. Prepare lectures, answer emails, get the gist. I see. Uh, so any special pin formula for this building? No. This building has no pin or ID requirements. As I said, it's used for seeing students and such. Your office is on the third floor. Understood. It goes without saying that you should not bring any sensitive work to this building and you must definitely not leave any of your files here. You mean related to the party? Yes, none of that should enter this oh. building. You have been allocated a desktop up there with its own separate email. The computer must solely be used for your teaching responsibilities and must not be used for any research related work. Okay, I've got my pen and paper now. White Cross, this is Colin. Something weird is happening here. All the lights are on and there's absolutely no one around. Gotta be honest, I'm seeing lights and hearing voices. Over. Hmm. Why am I swearing away? I wonder why Jeff didn't respond. Jeff, if you can hear this, you gotta tell Ronnie. She might have to come look for me. I think I might be succumbing to some aftershock for my collision. I might pass out soon. Yeah, you probably will. Oh, that scares the life out of me when it does that. Oh, there's another one. Ah, that feels much better. Fridge is full and all things way put oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh, oh. So did you hear about the Dean's son? No, I didn't. What happened? 
He had an accident on the West Side Freeway. Oh my god, that is terrible. I heard his brakes malfunctioned. Fortunately, he survived. Thank god for that. Were there any other cars involved? No. When he noticed his brakes were shot, he drove the car into the desert. He managed to make a controlled collision. Still, he's broken quite a few bones. Ouch. So, the dean's going to take some time off to be with his family in California. Oh, so the school board is going to vote on a new acting dean, right? They already voted yesterday. That quickly? Who's the new dean? You're not going to believe it. Tell me. It's Jerome. As in... Our Jiro? That's right. But he's so busy with the accelerator project. The classes is teaching and the new batch of PhD candidates. Mm. Did he even say yes? I heard he did. I can't believe it. Wait, so you're telling me that the school board voted him in? That's right. That's how the deans are chosen. Then how did he get the position? Kobayashi and Hausen both hate his guts. They'd never vote for him. Geez, Siraj. You really have to keep up with things. Kobayashi and Hausman no longer sit on a school board. What? What happened? Kobayashi Industries and Hausman Engineering pulled out their funding last month, so they're no longer allowed to sit on the board. Why did they do that? Okay. Uh, I shouldn't say this, but apparently, Junichiro Kobayashi got into a big fight with Jiro, so he pulled all the funding away from the project. When Frederick Hausman got wind of this, he also pulled his funding from the project. Wow. Any idea who the new board members are? No idea. The upper crust has been a bit secretive about this. Wow. You know, you really should keep your ears on the ground more concerning the center's politics. Might help you finally get your promotion to associate professor. Okay. So... Oh, Suraj Shamdasani. It's locked. Assistant Professor Selina Mayer. That's locked too. Everything is out of date. I think then I think they're in a different. Oh, this is reminding me now of Silent Hill. Assistant Professor Frank Williams. No, nope. everything is locked. It looks like it's eight o'clock. If it's eight o'clock in the morning, evening. Uh, oh, there's another one. Jean Bernard de Vries. Department head, Professor Francois de Giroux. I hope that's how I say it. Can I get in these doors? Mm, no, not going that way. Shh. Hmm. Ooh. There is a traitor among us. We must find them. Oh man, let's get the life out of me. Ooh, the hard drive's missing. God, blimey. Professor DeVries, do you have a moment? Ah, uh, yes. Come in. Have a seat. Thank you. Let me guess. You are here to ask about the Iridium Half-Life problem I set out last Wednesday. Not quite. I'm actually not a student. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I have so many students these days that I really can't keep track of them all. It's not a problem. My name is Georgina Sanders. I'm with the FBI. <coughs> oh, is uh, there a problem, Miss Sanders? Well, I hope not. Would you mind if I close the door behind me? Mm, not at all. Thank you, Professor. He sounds a bit shifty. Have you ever seen this man before? Oh, uh, yes, uh, he looks very uh, familiar. I mean, it's been years since we've last seen each other, but I believe that's an old university friend of mine. I'm sure he's aged a bit since those days, so who sure knows what he looks like today? Still, this could be him. Can you remember his name? His first name was Vitali. As for his last name, I'm terribly sorry, but I believe I can no longer remember that. It was such a long time ago. All I remember is that it was long and Russian. <laughs> so you two studied together at the university? Uh, no, no. Uh, we never studied together. He was my roommate. Which university was this? Leiden University. Were you too close? Well, we were roommates and became good friends. 
I'd say we were close. But you didn't keep in touch. Well, the Iron Curtain was up at the time. Not exactly very easy to call each other and swap letters. Do you know what he studied? Uh, I believe it was mechanical engineering. I thought you said you two didn't study together. We didn't. I majored in physics. Of course, sorry. So, you two didn't keep in touch at all after university? Like I said, it was too complicated at the time. But the Cold War has been over for some time now. Did you think War. you could call him? On what number? No, by then we had already drifted apart. Of course. Sounds a bit like Kermit. I can tell you're quite young, but believe me, by the time you reach my age, you'll have forgotten more people than you would have ever imagined you would. Yeah, my dad tells me that all the time. So, uh, Vitali is wanted by the FBI. I'm not in position to disclose that. That means yes. Can you tell me anything? He was spotted in Cleveland a few days ago, and we suspect he might drive down here to talk to you. About what? We're not 100% sure, but most likely it involves your research. My research? What could he possibly want? Gosh, I thought we could just, know the answer just picturing Kermit. Anyway, I have other work to tend to today, so I'll be taking my leave. Here's my card. Please do call me if Gustav gets in contact with you. Ah, uh, yes, Gustav! That's it! So you did know his name? Of course I did. Just wanted to verify that he was the same man. You must call me if he gets in contact with you. He's a very dangerous man. Okay. Suraj, where has General Lortis gone? He got tired and decided to go back to the guest house. D'ailleurs, it's only 7 p.m. To be honest, he seemed pretty pissed that you made him wait. On top of that, he looked genuinely sleepy. My character's got beer too. You know, these military types, they like to turn in early and wake up early. On that subject, General Ortiz is insisting you meet him for breakfast at 7 a.m. 7 in the morning? Mon dieu, je déteste absolument travailler avec les soldats. What was that? I hate working with soldiers. Uh, anyway, where am I meeting him? The coffee next to your university main library. Oh, the coffee there is so shit. The general likes it there. Please don't forget that he's the main sponsor for the particle accelerator program. I know. I'll be there. Cafe next to the main lab. So, something dodgy's going on. Oh my days. They weren't kidding, everything is audio cues. There's literally nothing else. Oh, I have a transformer station codes. But yeah, apart from that, there is nothing else. So, I gotta find a cafe. I'm guessing this is one, this is the main campus? I guess. I think. Oh, something's just gonna pop out, isn't it? Oh. Well, okay then. Oh, wait, what's that? That's a doctorate or something there. Oh, it's a light source. Yeah, no kidding. It's like everyone's vanished. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, that's why I'm going to leave it for this episode. We'll pick this up next time. We're going to keep these episodes nice and short because I don't think the games are too long. So, yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll return tomorrow with a brand new video for all tomorrow. But until then, you guys stay tuned. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.